Here comes the field for race six, second division in the post printing series. One Noble Marty, owned by Shirley and Janet Bay. Marty and Shelley Polly with David Miller. Two is Air Patrol, owned by Doug Gregory. Francis Mulhall, driven by Jack Daly. Three Scoot and Annie, owned by Ann Kirk. Rainsman David Myers. Four Copper and Tin, owned and driven by Bill Aldrich. Five Goodnight Lullaby, owned by the Spring Mill Venture with Dan Ader in the bike. Number six, KFL Marie, owned by Gwen Baldwin with Michael Roche. Number seven is Tucson Bridget, owned by Glenn Bird, driven by Bill Walters. And here comes number eight, Cousin Ashley, owned by John Roby, Gary Chafin, and Benson Albaugh. Del S. Miller will be in the sulky. Field for the sixth, and there's no changes. Field for tonight's sixth race is at the gate and moving up. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're often pacing air patrol between horses, looks for the lead. The favorite, Noble Marty, quickly goes on. They're down the back stretch. Copper and Tin, middle of the racetrack to third, followed by Scootin, Annie fourth. Next in line, Goodnight Lullaby, fifth, parked on the outside, KFL Marie. She's going to have to take back, scooting through along the rail, Tucson, Bridget, and Cousin Ashley. And they are scrambling for position as they move into the opening quarter. One on a nickel, favorite has got the top. She'll go as far as she can down the front end. Noble Marty brings them past the quarter in 29 seconds flat. Seating arrangements are complete. Dave Miller will conduct on the front end with Noble Marty. Noble Marty under a double. Purple Baby Nelson literally leads the way by a length. Air Patrol flying high in second. Under confident handling, Scoot and Annie skims the rail third. Around the clubhouse turn, Copper and Tin is fourth as they hit the half mile station. We're back on the front end, reaching the half mile pole in a minute and one fifth. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Noble Marty has had it all her own way. Air Patrol, the prompter in second, stalking third, Scoot and Annie, Copper and Tin. Better find some metal from here. Second division, good night, lullaby, Tucson, Bridget. Cousin Ashley and the trailer is KFL Marie. No changes. They roll into three quarters. Bouncing right along, and she's been there every step of the way. Noble Marty. Noble Marty. Air Patrol holds on to the deuce. Under the whip in third. Scoot and Annie after that is Copper and Tin. By three quarters in 130 and four. They'll pace the turn and come on home, and Noble Marty is now being asked for her best. Air Patrol is second. Here's Scoot and Annie up on the outside. The others better pick it up. Moving through the stretch to quote Trevor, Noble Marty is moving like a winner. It's Noble Marty. Here comes Scoot and Annie on the outside of Air Patrol. Noble Marty coast to coast. Number one is Noble Marty, three-year-old Bay Philly by Noble and Sam out of Keystone Myrtle, owned by Shirley and Janet Bay, Martin and Shelley Polly of Ohio, trained by Ron Potter, driven tonight wire to wire by Dave Miller, covering them out here in two minutes and two fifths, and that will establish a lifetime's best for last year's Philly champion, two-year-old Ohio sired pacer, scoring at Lebanon back there for a hundred thousand dollar purse. Noble Marty. Makes it victory number one in 1997. 1-3 one, exact to $8.40, 8.40. Three out of three on the pick three on three, five, and one, $38.40, 38.40. Next post in 14 minutes, twin tri exchange, trifecta and exacta, no changes. The trifecta returns, 17.60. Here's the top down. Noble Marty, the winner, Air Patrol third, Scoot Nanny second. Copper and Tin, fifth. Good Night Lullaby, sixth. KFL Marie, eighth. Tucson Bridget, fourth. Cousin Ashley was seventh. 